know about you, but this sounds like a dream to me. A beautiful Italian town is willing to pay you 30,000 euros to move there. Now, this may sound like a scam, but it actually isn't. The village of Presice is a charming little hamlet in Puglia, a southern region of Italy known for its lush farmland and Mediterranean coastline. And the town is going to pay people 30 thousand to buy a house and then move there in an attempt to combat its dwindling population. Now this scheme has actually been used in other parts of Italy. There's the island of Sardinia which offered $15,000 to potential residents along with the region of Calabria doling out 33k. So what is the catch here? Well to take the money you have to officially move to the town and buy a home that was built before 1991 because part of those funds must be used for renovations or redecorating. Now. Would you do this? That's what we want to know. And if you want to, how do you even go about it? Well, joining us now is Elisa Serafini. She's a journalist from Milan, Italy. So first of all, how many people have actually taken advantage of these schemes so far? So in Italy, there are about 74 towns that are currently offering uh, one euro homes or something uh, similar to that. So this example that you actually mentioned, um, there isn't any public register of this project, but an estimate of five to 7,000 people might be a good estimate of people who really took advantage of these schemes. So uh, we are talking about more or less this number. And uh, we have to know that Italy is currently living a huge demographic crisis. So uh, these initiatives might be even more in the future. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that, demogra that demographic crisis that you're referring to and whether or not these schemes have actually successfully increased population or if people end up buying these houses and then somehow leaving because how do you even monitor them staying? It's very difficult to track down the results. Um, it's something that has been very new in the just recent years. Uh, but either you love it or you hate it. So we have to consider that those towns, uh, especially in the south, might have some challenges. So you might be uh, finding difficulties to find infrastructures or internet connection. But at the same time, there is a very high level of um, quality in, the, in terms of food, uh, the weather, and everything that is related uh, to culture and everything about that. So uh, there are people that are currently living there. They even established restaurants or activities and some mm -hmm. others that are escaping from uh, this kind of uh, environment because it's not easy to, to be in these areas. Otherwise, they wouldn't give this money to the people who are willing to live there. And for the demographic um, elements, so what is happening in Italy is that uh, the population is aging uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are more people that are dying than those that are are, uh, they are being born and also there is a lack of immigration in a way uh, so this is a huge challenge the aging population and the lack of new residents right. in the in the country so you know let's say our viewers are interested in doing this and they want to buy a one euro home how do you go about it um, again, there, there are no public registers of these uh, initiatives, but there are some private uh, private websites and blogs. Uh, there is one very famous, which is called oneeurohomes.com, and it's also in Italian, Casia un euro, uh, because these initiatives target not only foreigners, but also Italian people who are living in bigger cities, and maybe they want to do a downshift. They want to live in other part of the of the countries, living in Milan, living in Rome, living in Florence, Venice, or all these right. uh, big towns and going to uh, other areas. So you have to be careful, look on the websites and apply online to the, to the website of the municipalities. Amazing. Well, you know, obviously, I, I think that the concept of living in an Italian town in the countryside it sounds appealing to most people, although actually living it is a totally different scenario, like you said. You know, for those foreigners who do choose to do something like this, do they have access to becoming a citizen of Italy? Is that one of the, the perks here? Um, no, actually, they cannot become Italian citizens uh, unless they stay in Italy for more than 10 years or unless they have uh, relatives, maybe grandfathers or parents that were born in Italy. Uh, so it really depends also in the country of origin. But one big advantage that those people can have is the lump sum tax. So there are fiscal advantages, tax advantages mm -hmm. for people who have been living abroad, either Italians or people that are from other countries. And there are huge tax 
tax incentives, especially uh, living in the south of Italy. You can also reduce the taxation up to 90% of, uh, of what you are actually uh, having as an income. So Amazing. this is the biggest, uh, actually, opportunity from the tax perspective. Uh, but again, as you mentioned, uh, it's not easy to live in, the, in these areas. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you, Elisa, so much for joining us. Really fascinating. Um, you know, I'd still check it out. I'd still check it out.